Hi everyone, the counterattack is back on the road. We're in Kazan, Russia for the 2015 FINA World Championship. Counterattack coming up next. Hi everyone, Greg Messel here in Kazan, Russia for the 2015 FINA World Championships. But first things first, it's the middle of the USA Water Polo Junior Olympics. Session one in the books, session two about to begin. Good luck to all the athletes competing. Don't forget, go to usawaterpolo.org Junior Olympics for everything JO related. Use the hashtag 2015JOs. We've been catching up with folks competing in JOs, the JO Expo, and elsewhere. Let's hear some of their stories. Um, really, for people who's, who's future is centered around water polo, this is the place to be. This is the moment that matters. Well, we're here for Junior Olympics. It's, a, um, it's an annual thing where all high school water polo players and under high school and under middle school, elementary school, we all gather here and we all play in this tournament. We, um, and we fight for first place. Uh, it's definitely changed because we're so used to playing indoors and there's not the glare of the sun, which obviously causes issues. And then putting on sunscreen makes it a little worse because everybody's kind of slippery. But it's, I, I like it because you get obviously tan and it's just fun to be outside in the warm weather. Well, Junior Olympics is really, it, for American water polo players, high school and under, it is, it's the place to show what you're made of. It's where coaches go to see uh, what you can do, how well you can play with other players. And so really it's a place uh, to show what you've learned in the past years of water polo, and especially for uh, juniors and seniors, upperclassmen in high school, this is the last time we're gonna be playing or the second to last time, and it's probably the most important water polo tournament of our lives. As I said, I think this is a truly great event that the management of U.S. Water Polo has put on. It's to see the grassroots, the people that are working hard come together and, and promote this uh, great sport that's been for me. And it's, as I said, it's an aggregation of all the wonderful people that are involved uh, creating this environment. It's so positive for so many young people. Meanwhile, back here in Kazan is the FINA World Championship. It's one of the biggest events on the water polo calendar, and both our men and women are competing. You can get full action from Universal Sports. They're streaming the games, universalsports.com, and also airing them over the air on delay. Check usawaterpolo.org for complete schedules and also results from all the action. We took a quick look around Kazan to let you know what it's like here at the World Championships and also checked in with some of our Team USA athletes. Um. I don't know, Russia's cool. We've been here a couple of times, and each place it's a unique experience. So um, we're lucky to be in a really nice hotel here um, in Kazan, and they've done an amazing job, like transportation, venues, a lot of teams are in the village, and it really seems like they have it all put together. So that's been cool, but it's nothing like home, so. <laughs> or, you know, being a spot for a medal, uh, you know, that's, that's our goal, and uh, it's been a long, long time since the United States has medaled in, in uh, World Championships, so I want, to be, I want to be a part of that team and I want our team to be that team that does that. World Championships is crazy, you know, like the Olympics is the, the pinnacle, it's the peak, but um, World Championships there are 16 teams and so it's really exciting because everyone prepares, even, you know, South Africa and Japan and all these teams we've never seen before are preparing for World Championships, so you see everybody's best team and you see everybody's best game every time you play, so it's really, um, it's really the top of the game here at World Championships. One other quick note on the national team scene, the FINA Junior World Championships for the women has been moved. It was going to be in Mexico, it'll now be in Volos, Greece. We'll have a roster out for our women's team soon. Last week on the show, we brought you open water action from both Oregon and Shaver Lake. Let's go back out to Fresno and the Shaver Lake tournament and hear from some of the folks that made that event possible. An awesome scene for water polo. Um, it's an open water tournament where 44 teams come together and we play in the op open lake instead of chlorine. We are here to have the most fabulous open water tournament, but more importantly to show our girls that um, a small community can make big things happen for, for the community. So that's what we're here for. Well, uh, you're, you're in a lake. <laughs> you're not in a pool, you know, that's, that's about the only way I can sum that up, you know. 
who would ever thought? You know, you get out there, you play catch, you toss a little beach ball around, but now you're playing water polo. And what a great place to do it, you know? And now we'll close things out as we do every show with our social media send off and a lot of JO related tweets out there on the Twitter sphere. Here we go, starting things off first. Check out the NorCal Club tweeting this out from their NorCal Aquatics account. They decorated their van for JOs with all the names of the athletes that are competing. Nice job there. Moving right along to Moose Water Polo out of Ohio. These guys play a lot of indoor water polo. They don't have to wear sunscreen that often, but they do here in California. They're trying to rub it on the sunscreen. Still a ways to go for those fellas. Riverside Water Polo getting ready for JOs and also helping out with a great cause, sending off Team Sweden as they get ready for the Special Olympics World Games that were going on in Los Angeles. We bring it back out here to Kazan, John Mann via Twitter showing off Team USA as they get ready for competition here at the FINA World Championships. And then back out to the JOs, it was the Viper Pigeons of Texas hanging out at an Angels game, taking in some baseball before they get their JO competition going. Don't forget, use the hashtag 2015JOs for everything JO related. That'll do it for this week. We'll join you back here next week in Kazan. Thanks for watching. Don't forget when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.